So every time I hit a milestone, it wasn't a celebration. It was just like, yeah. let's keep going. It's another step you know in the journey. Because they waiting going. on us to fall off. Right. You know what I'm saying? I took the easy way out. I don't deserve anything. I took the easy way out. Easy. That pisses me off because I ain't never had no easy problem. Championship or not, um, I got to perfect my craft until I can't play no more. Need motivation? Watch a top 10 with Believe Nation. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. My one word is believe, and I believe in you. I believe you have Michael Jordan level talent at something, and I want you to find it, embrace it, and use it to make a difference. So let's get your motivation to a 10 and get you believing in you. Grab a snack and chew in today's lessons from a man who went from growing up as an unusually tall kid, reaching six feet in just middle school, to becoming a two time NBA champion and one of the best basketball players in the the world. He's Kevin Durant, and here's my take on his top 10 rules of success, volume two. Enjoy. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, my personal favorite, chase your dream. I didn't think I would be in the NBA. I didn't know it for sure, but like, I didn't plan on anything else since I was like nine. I was humble enough to know that it may not happen, but I was arrogant enough to be like, all right, I have no choice but to be. I understood the journey at an early age too. My first goal was to make the varsity team. I did that. Second goal was to like start on varsity and be lead the team in scoring. I did that in my sophomore year. One of the staff, Durant, showtime. If my college goal was go to college, a big time college, and play Division One. I. I did that. So I set goals along the way and I hit them quicker than I thought. And then that's when I was like, holy, shit, I'm on a nice little trajectory. is inserted back in. Collected by Rubio. Two seconds left. KD to end the half. Go! Just how you draw it up. The dream of doubt. Rule number two, keep pushing. By the time you were in high school, everybody knew who you were. Just truth of the matter, in your neighborhood, people don't like greatness. They envy it. Yeah. And that's the pressure you feel, you know, because you want to prove them wrong so bad, but at the end of the day, you're really just trying to prove yourself right. So, when you start to think about, you know, the pressure and the hate and all of that stuff, it just adds on and it distracts you from where you're trying to go. But I knew I had to keep pushing. So every time I hit a milestone, it wasn't a celebration. It was just like, yeah. let's keep going. It's another step you know in the journey. Because they waiting going. on us to fall off. Right. You know what I'm saying? The right play. Wanted to take the last shot of this quarter. Grant steps back. What a play from Kevin Durant. Play the shot clock. Rule number three, focus on the right things. What have you learned over this past year? Because you've had a lot happen in your life. Uh, I can't worry about what people say. I can't let that distract me when I'm on the court playing. And this has before. No lie, it has. But I can't worry about what they'll say after the game or how I'm playing, I just gotta go play. Let the work take control, let the work take over. I got away from the love of the game because I let the, the business of the game take, um, I, let it, I let it be 1A and 1B instead of letting basketball just be number one and <laughs> that stuff doesn't even matter. He's in just to guard Steph and Durant breaking down the Rule number four, be tough. I feel like I've been getting bullied all here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I took the easy way out. I don't deserve anything. I took the easy way out. Easy. That pisses me off because I ain't never had no easy way. There is no doubt in my mind, it was a 
crushing day for him when he knew that the decision that he had to make would be to go to Golden State because he would never want anybody there to think that he didn't appreciate him, that he didn't mean every word he had ever spoken when he was there. Kevin gave nine years to OKC. It's a long time. And he gave everything he had. The tough decision was made and you grow from it. You learn from it. It's how you handle it. We had a lot of great moments together. It's hard to make it at the top of your profession, no matter what it is, but it's easy for people to discredit you. It's like, man, you worked your whole life to get to this point. And sometimes you don't even enjoy it because you worry about what other people got to say. And that's a struggle some days, especially when you're playing the NBA, where all you hear is the noise. It's hard to tune that out. As much as people want us to like be tough minded and have thick skin, sometimes it's hard to like not take up for yourself and be like, yo, I work hard as hell. Like, you know, we're not in the gym after shooting around and after practices. Like, you don't know what's going on through my head like the day before a game. Like, you don't know. It's just a game to some people, but this should be real life to us. I think people get this idea that like he made his decision and then on July 4th, he was like, bring out the ace of spades, let's pop champagne, I'm going to go and stay. I mean, it was the opposite. Like his July 4th barbecue didn't exist. Like there was no celebration. He was in more pain making that decision than anybody because that was the opposite of what he had done his whole life, which was make sure that everybody was happy. Excellent defense, physical game. Had their chances as Durant banks it home, a two-pointer. Warriors go up a dozen with 55.9 remaining. Rule number five, stay true to yourself. What's the best thing that you've learned over the course of this journey, man? Man, just staying true to yourself. Trying to find out who you are. And through my years in high school, I always moved at my own pace. And once I got to the league, I started moving at everybody else's pace. Yeah. And as I got older, I, I realized I was it was just too tiring for me to, to live a different way. And then I really, I wanted to, you know, in the public and how I am in private. And it was like, I was just struggling with that. So as I got older, I just learned to just be more authentic and more true to myself and hold on to those core values. Clay Thompson rushes up the floor. Durant quickly to the basket with authority. What a sequence that was. The crowd is delirious. Rule number six, be present. I would like to be remembered as a guy that was just, that was just there, that was present. You know, you can kind of be somewhere and not be present. I want to be, I want to be there when, when, I, when I see you, when we meet, when we talk. I want to. I want you to know that I really care and I'm really genuine about it. And and sometimes that doesn't come off well, especially with people um, of our stature that don't come around our communities a lot. But I want them to know that we still care, we're still there. You know, we got our, our thing going on, but we also still a part of this community emotionally. And that goes a long, long way, more so than what we can do from our pockets. And for me, that's something that I try to do every single chance that I get and and also on top of that find creative ways to influence the community and try to elevate the community and you know just try to make it a full thing instead of just I want to give money and move on it's a, it's more of a it's more of a life thing and I think it's going to help you know down the line and help the kids become something that they always wanted to be Rule number seven, work hard. I work so hard, man. I work tirelessly, bro. So it's easy to discredit somebody. But when you don't see the work and you only just look at the wins and losses or the shots, made shots, no matter, it matters what you don't see. That's the stuff that matters. That's what the kids need to know. I just keep building on that foundation I laid down 20 years ago. And I'm trying to make a mansion. You know what I'm saying? I'm damn near there. <laughs> Crossover. No luck. Major highlight. Durant to Looney. Kevin Durant busting ankles. 
Rule number eight, get out of your own way. People, they live, like we all live in such these, these big bubbles. Like for us, like for me, I used to think this is this world was the, the end all be all. Like, hey man, if I have a bad game, if I have a bad stretch, I'm like really feeling it. I had to really get out my own way. It's hard for people to do that. That's what they don't really, that's why they can't, you know, think a different way. They don't like change. It's like your ego is so big and that you stuck on what you want to do and how you view things that you can't get out your own way and elevate. And for us, it's just like, it's not that big of a deal. Like we play basketball, imagine me, feeling away because this dude at Ruth Chris wanted to go work at Morton's. You know what I'm saying? Look how stupid that sounds for me even to just have my focus on that. And it's like, once you realize that, it makes it, it, it makes things more clear and it, 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 you just realize what you're really in it for. It's not, it's just for you to actually do what makes you happy every day. Pass deflected by Murray, pushes it ahead. DeJounte Murray goes inside, left-handed, blocked by Durant. First time I've seen in a long time a guy blocks it twice. Take a look at Kevin Durant. The first time blocks it, slaps it again. Rule number nine, perfect your craft. You got your ring. What's next? Keep so getting better. At what? Playing basketball. I mean, my job is to perfect my craft and championship or not. Um, I got to perfect my craft until I can't play no more. And then that's when I'll sit down at the table and reflect on my career. Back in transition. 48% shooting. The second half starts with Durant with a duck off the break. Kevin Durant elevated. But he wasn't going to take any prisoners on this one. And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip, is have fun. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. So gifted, comes down and just pulls up and knocks it in. Now I've got a really special bonus KD clip around giving back that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, I wanna know which of these two messages resonated more with you? Work hard or be present? Let me know, leave in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love, I'll see you soon, and enjoy the bonus clip. Obviously, being in the NBA is an amazing dream of mine. And as, as a kid, that's all I wanted to do. But as I got older, I realized the impact that we all have as not only just basketball players, but as people um, to impact somebody's lives. And so to do this is my way of giving back and letting you guys know that the dream is always alive, is always real. So always believe in yourself. And that's what a, something as small as a basketball court did for me. And hopefully I'm giving it back to you guys. If you tell yourself a story long enough, you start to believe it. Once you believe it, you act like it. I have tussled with a whale out of handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Now you know I'm bad. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. <laughs> the fundamental 
key to success is it can take between 18 and 254 days of taking action for a new habit to stick i've created a new course called 254 confidence where every single day for 254 days i will be sending you a video between 30 seconds and five minutes long that you start your morning with around making you feel confident it's absolutely free. Check out the link in the description below to get access.